So, again, similar to how making videos as a kid in middle school, like, we didn't write scripts. You just went over to somebody's house and started making jokes at each other. So, with this, um, we went there without a script. We had a couple ideas, the ideas being Stephanie's character would be from Youngstown, Andy's character would not be from Youngstown, and Stephanie would be in the witness protection program. Like, we sort of knew that. Um, and the, we're like, and the rest we'll just figure out. Um, which you wouldn't do that if you were going to spend, a, if like a bunch of money was getting spent on it and you're going to bring this whole crew and there was all this pressure of filmmaking. That would be really terrifying for producers, I think. But, you know, we kept it very small so that we didn't have to feel that pressure. And then when we got to Youngstown, Jesse, the local. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, talking about this earlier, but like the, the Russian woman in the film, that's just my best friend's mom. Like I grew up in that house, like literally drinking like their vodka and like getting too drunk in high school before we could, you know, be legal age. And so like him and then the guy in the, the steel, the, the metal sort of uh, lot, um, that's a family friend. So it's sort of like half family friends and then half uh, people that responded to an ad that we put in the local paper. But yeah, I mean, maybe, I don't know, a few months before we started filming, I, I started making a spreadsheet and I just said, okay, here are all the places that I went to in high school, like Plaza Donuts and you know the other various locations. And uh, so we just started with that. We made a spreadsheet and then people with phone numbers contacted as many of them as we could. And then when we got there, I literally, we just called them all up and whoever responded, we thought, okay, how do we work this into the film? So that's where Pete and Stephanie and Andy sort of then started to write it in as we were, as it was happening. And then it all also centered around the Canfield Fair, which was, that that was the thing. I was like, okay, this, this big fair happens every year. Let's just go around that time and something can happen at the fair. That was, that, that's what happened in the beginning. So no script, but just all, the, but the spreadsheet. And, uh, <laughs> and then as we got there and we met these people, they just, inspired and influenced the the story and actually even like their availability influenced the story it's like ala is her name wasn't available until like the tuesday of the second week if she had been available on like the wednesday of the first week she would have been in like a different character in the first half of the movie probably like she just wouldn't it like it all would have just kind of happened differently it happened the way it did um because of we let go of all control and we just rode the wave so I'll just pick one scene. There's, you know, lots of different little segments of the story, but you know, like the one where he's sticking his hands in with the chickens. Where, is, where did did that just kind of come impromptu, or just like the night before? He's like, oh, let's do that. Um, by that point, we knew that he was this character who basically was just like a mischievous kid who just, if somebody told him not to do something, he's going to do it. Um, and we just knew that he's going to get in trouble for something at the fair. And we and one of the people who responded to that ad was this guy named Bowden, and we and we uh, found a got a, a security guard shirt made for him. So we're like, okay, so we have a security guard character who's gonna uh, reprimand Andy's character for doing something wrong. We don't know what yet. We get to the fair. We're walking around. It's just full of amazing things, and we see this chicken barn. And I go in there and I see a sign that says, do not stick your fingers in the chicken cages. And I'm like, Andy's character is going to see that and be like, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sticking my fingers in the cage. So it was just something that was there. If there hadn't been a chicken barn, it wouldn't have been in the movie. But that's what was there. And that's what made us laugh in the moment. So that's what became the thing. Um, the like uh, wounds on his fingers is just a red and a black sharpie marker that we happen to have in a ba in the bag, and Andy just like did that. To but he's like he's, he's you know he's a painter and he's good with that, and he like just sat there for like twenty minutes, just kind of like perfecting the look of the chicken pecks. But if we hadn't had a black and red sharpie marker, like I don't know what we would have done. Like, but that's just how it happened. <laughs>